Hi everyone, my name is Pete Murray with Singularity Hub and today um, Federico Pistono is joining us all the way from uh, Verona, Italy. We never had a time when machines were able to do uh, jobs that only humans could and only humans with a um, with a degree or a, a college degree or a university degree, right? So now we are seeing automation coming in the workforce um, where you have um, automated journalism. So we already have many articles written by major newspapers written by uh, artificial intelligence software and people don't notice. But it shows the power of the exponential expansion of technology and of artificial intelligence in specific. Because uh, robotics is really hard to do. You need uh, a lot of, you need to solve a lot of technical problems, engineering problems with hand coordination. Uh, um, you, you have um, different stimuli coming from many different sensors, cameras, um, accelerometers, and I mean, it, it all comes together. It's so hard to do robotics, but we're getting there. Artificial intelligence, on the other hand, has improved so much in the last five to six years that it's just mind-blowing. If autonomous cars become ubiquitous, say, in 15 years' time, the drivers who, I mean, the, the, the taxi drivers, truck drivers, there are millions of those people, they will not start a new career now. They will find themselves in, I don't know, 10 to 12 years' time saying, hmm, cars are becoming, uh, autonomous cars are becoming more and more ubiquitous. What should I do? I should start another job. And they, they will go and look for a job that is similar to the, uh, that is appropriate to, this, to the level of the skill and knowledge that they have. And those kind of skills will be gone because in the time they look for another job, in the time, during the time they're looking for another job similar to that that they're already doing, um, machines will already have replaced those jobs as well. It's, it's just a bit ridiculous to think that everybody in 10 to 15 years time will, be, will have a job in the service sector which cannot be replaced by a machine. Let's say poverty is a um, relative concept. If you need, let's say, uh, $4,000 a month of expenses and you only earn $3,500, you're poor. But if you only need 1000 and you make 1500 then you're rich. So by reducing the need for money, you're essentially um, empowering yourself to live better and to have more time to spend with your family, with your friends, to develop your passions. And that can be done by utilizing, in a smart way, exponentially expanding technologies that are available now and were not available 10 years ago. So yep. it's a double-edged sword. Uh, you have automation and technology bringing structural employment, but on the other hand, you can use the same technology to make yourself less dependent on the money that you would need to earn by working. But before you, think, you even think about buying a, a solar panel, you, you should think about retrofitting your house, because that's always cheaper. It's about six times more effective so the return of investment is six times bigger if you retrofit instead of just switching to an alternative source. It, it's about thinking smart about what you do, what you consume. Um, and the main point is uh, you, you don't have to sacrifice. Because I think the, uh, it, the environmentalist movement, is fun, the, the idea is fundamentally corrupt. When people say you have to sacrifice, you have to... Uh, remember, switch off the lights, don't use that much. Uh, you know, always think about rationing and sacrificing. But in reality, most of the energy and the water and, I mean, most of the things that we consume um, and we waste is just because of bad planning, bad um, thinking, and bad designing. I mean, the current economic system, I think, is just a technology. And it's been an efficient technology meaning a technique, so a technique, a, an art of moving forward our ideas. But now it's becoming a kind of, um, uh, kind of a rotten system. It's uh, th 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 this, this kind of competition all the way down is slowly dying. 
and it's being replaced by a mixer of collaboration competition approach, which is much more efficient. We're going to have to go to a steady state economy, which doesn't mean that we don't do anything. It means that we basically manage things on a dynamic equilibrium. Hmm. Um, so it's, it, it doesn't mean that there is no economic activity. It means that the economic activities are based upon the resources that we have available instead of um, thin air ideas such as money, which is virtually infinite because it's actually virtual.